in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can charge your Tesla in at home with a 110 volt outlet. But before we do that, just have a look at the state of this thing. We got bird poop or something right there. We have some spider webs up here. So I think what we need to do first is give it a wash. You know what I also love about the Tesla? It's a lot smaller than the truck. So this takes like 10 minutes to do a quick wash while that takes a lot longer. It looks a lot better now. I'm not gonna make a proper detail at the moment. Just wanted to get the poop off the car. But now let's get into the charging of this car and see what we get. So I'm gonna compare the uh, stock uh, chargers that you get with the Tesla. And I'm sorry if I'm sweaty, it's pretty hot. It's eight eight in the morning still pretty humid out welcome to florida summer i guess we're gonna start with this as every tesla gets this charger that we have in here and plug this in you have these adapters for whatever non-tesla charges i'm pretty sure i know what we're gonna get but just for the sake of the video let's uh let's try that first and then connect to the other charger For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna back the car in. Start with the first one right here, the stock one, and then of course comparing it to the aftermarket one. All right, so it looks like it's charging. We're sitting at about four miles per hour with the standard charger. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the electron charger that uh, Electron was kind enough to send to me. So let's see what we get when we plug in the Electron charger in the same 110 volt outlet. All right guys, so here it is. It comes in this nice case and it looks like pretty much any other charger. However, what you need to do here is since we have a different connection here, this is for non Tesla EV. So we need to have the adapter, but the adapter, as you know, also comes with the Tesla. It's already in this little box right here. So we're gonna pick one of these and just to pl plug it in to the end of the on this charger and uh, let's see how this goes. I can make sure that it's actually charging. You can see that by these lights right here. It says connected. And then when this is blinking blue, that means that it's charging. Right now, I'm plugged in with the electron charger right here, as you can see. We're now charging at six miles per hour right there, if I can get it to focus from this, from 110 volt outlet right there. If you want this for yourself, I'm gonna link this down in the description so you can go and get this for yourself. And I'm not sure if it comes, I don't think it comes with this uh, adapter right here, but as you know, this comes standard with all Teslas in the package in the trunk with, that houses the, the charging cable as well. I mean, still, it's just a 110 volt charger, so you can only get so much out of it. Conclusion, can you have uh, a Tesla when you live in an apartment complex with no uh, possibility to plug in a, a wall charger? The answer is yes. You just have to be pretty disciplined with charging. You can always manage to have it topped up, if that makes sense, if you just use a wall charger, uh, just a 110 volt charger. And, and I mean, if you use Electron that I have, then you're gonna get two additional miles on top of that. So that would be around six to seven miles per hour, which honestly, I don't think it's too bad considering it's just a standard wall outlet, 110 plug that powers your hair dryer as well. So yeah, I'm happy with the result of the test. And even though it's not a massive increase in charge, it's every every mile per hour matters in my opinion. So great job by Electron and thanks again to them for sending me this product. And if you want it yourself, it's gonna be linked down in the description. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.